this is a triangle construction called side side side. I have three segments here that I'm going to use to construct a triangle. And I've started off with a baseline and a point, a starting point mark. First thing, normally I use the longest segment and I'm going to do a former construction copy a segment. Copy a segment, open the gap up for that green segment and I'm going to copy the segment down here on my baseline. So now I've marked the green segment and you don't have to work in colors, I'm, just, I'm using this to demonstrate. The next step is to take another segment, I'm going to go to the red segment, open my compass up, the length of the red segment and I'm going to come down to the one of these endpoints. I pick one. I'm going to do the one on the left. And from the left endpoint, I'm going to swing a red arc. Now, somewhere on this red arc is where the side's going to be. I, but I don't know where. It's the radius of the red segment right now. Somewhere along that arc is where I'm going to end up. So next I need to go find out where. So I'm going to go to the blue segment and take time to set this up right. This is the length of the blue segment. And since I, nope, not that one. Since I did the red one, I want to use the right, the right vertex now. So from this end point, I'm going to swing an arc and you're going to see that it's going to cross the red arc everywhere on this blue arc is the length of the blue segment. So it's just a matter of locating where those two cross. I have one vertex and two vertexes, vertices, and now I found the third vertex. And since I have that, I, can, I know exactly where my, my red segment goes. It goes exactly here and I know exactly where my blue segment goes. It goes exactly there. This is the only triangle possible with these three segments. It may look a different way, like flipped or um, blue might be in the bottom or something, but that's the only triangle possible using those three segments.